Oh, it was great energy. Um, you know, everybody excited to get back, get going. Uh, it was a great time in the year where you come back, refresh, uh, and just get ready to make, make a great run. Um, I think we were in a good position to improve and, and get better and, and find um, just how we want to play going into playoffs. Tobias, with Al moving into more of a off the bench six man type role, mm -hmm. uh, how does that change things for you in terms of like your, the shots that you're getting? Because I know historically you've played a lot of power forward. Yeah, uh, played mostly uh, small forward this, this year, but back and forth a little bit. So, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's there in the games. Obviously, it's going to be a, a little bit of adjustment. Um, but the biggest thing probably is just the adjustment defensively. Offensively, I'll be able to figure out pretty easily and see what's what's there, see different options, and, and play off uh, everybody. And um, so I think it'll be good. But uh, you know, it'll be good to, for us too to just get out in the rhythm uh, as he comes off the bench and whatnot, and, and and see how it goes. Was your aggression in the first quarter against the Clippers have anything to do with the position you were playing, or just more your mindset? I just think it was some of the opportunities that were there for me. Uh, so, kind of. You know, neither neither of those, but just some of the opportunities. None of the about some opportunities and uh, the way the flow of the game was, kind of how they played defense, who uh, was matched up versus me and whatnot. What does it say about Al? You know, being just kind of accepting the bench role for the for the benefit of the team. What does it say about him as a leader? Yeah, I mean, uh, just a professional. Um, everything we've already known about him, and um, obviously uh, as a, as a group and as a team, we're still trying to figure out, trying to see what works best. Um, so just to have that mentality and be able to uh, do what could be the, you know, a great move for our team and uh, see if it works. Uh, it just shows a winning, winning attitude, winning mentality. And we'll, we'll, see, we'll see if it works. Did you pay attention at all to like, uh, what, what was going on with Ben and Joe at All-Star? Like, did you follow any of the stuff, see any of the uh, things that were going on in the Clippers? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. Because they were playing against each other, so I thought it was it was, a, it was funny. But um, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, I think uh, just to have them both in the All Star game playing, competing, is awesome and uh, well deserved, and they did a great job representing. Brett, Brett said this last game um, was one of the best that those two have kind of coexisted and um, worked off each other, um, mm -hmm. especially down low. Um, well, what have you seen out of the way they've coexisted uh, this year? To, you know, when you first got here? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've uh, all talked about it. Um, but the, those two other guys that um, keep this thing moving and they have to really uh, embrace each other and, and um, have their respect uh, for each other's games. Uh, their games are different. Their games are different styles. But in a, in a way, they both do co complement each other on the floor. Uh, I've said that since the day that I've gotten here, and I truly believe it. And um, when they when they are out there and they're both dominant, like you know the Clipper game, you can just see it's like they played together since they was you know young kids. But um, they every game will continue to find that balance and continue to figure out each other's um, you know personalities on the floor and how we play and how we coexist. And them two, especially and most importantly, have to continue to embrace that night in night out for us to be a successful team. All right. Thank you.